Hey everyone, this is Light, and here's a video showcasing my RTA unit builds for units I actually pick. And um, keep in mind that I am a day one player. Um, I spent quite a bit in this game over the past five years, so my my gear is very fleshed out. I have a lot of random speed gear, and it might be a little daunting, but I guarantee you, you don't need anywhere remotely close to these stats to do well in RTA. So let's get into it. Uh, I'm gonna start with my openers and then my supports and then my DPS and then and then some niche picks and I'll explain why I built them like that. Um, so see Lilius, very very generic build. My top speed is not so good. Like 300 speed is basically the standard for a legend. Uh, I have 100 effectiveness, so I can tag key targets like Crimson Armin. Um, artifact of choice is either Sweet Miracle or Warhorn, but I don't I don't have sorry not Warhorn uh, Proof of Valor, but I don't have either of those artifacts available. So I use Music Box for like the art the funny RNG buff, and it gives you 10% defense, which is pretty good. But yeah, nothing special. Uh, mine is also on the squishy side. She's using three purple gear because I don't have anything better. Uh, as for my Zio, he's actually on the slow side. Um, for legend quality, you typically want to be close to 270. However, I greed my stats. Like I drop speed and go for more damage because I pick him as a high tempo unit. And I want him to kill stuff. So I focus my stats into offensive stats instead. And having this effectiveness is good for debuffing tar key targets like Karina and C. Armin. This is the go-to build if you are a standard or a an aggressive player, but not a cleaver. Um, face of Lydica, I picked this unit to outspeed Laya's that I can assume are slow based on the draft. But I don't pick this unit too often because 290 is a very dangerous speed range. Like Laya's can be, any, be anywhere from 240 to 300 speed, but I pick this if I feel confident. Because there are some dead giveaways that someone's a slow player, so yeah. Uh, Knockwall, I pick Knockwall a lot. I prioritize Laya. Laya is very strong with Knockwall. I give her my best gear, speed, immunity. I'm immunity to protect myself from Lua and other random things. I think it is the best in slot set. But you just, just go fast, have some effectiveness, have immunity, and yeah. Um, the speed, the speed can be anything from like 270 to 290 honestly. Um, if you're 290, you get you get cheesed by a lot less things. Like the thing, the thing about like Legend and Emperor, like people will have randomly fast units, and the faster you are, the more like cheese proof you are. So yeah, that's nice. Um, Sid, my Ran is ungeared. I am not a cleaver. I don't like Ran. I picked this Sid to deal with cleavers sometimes, but that's about it. Uh, Moon Bunny. I think Moon Money is actually very strong, but also hard to play. Um, I pick this unit when I'm anticipating Knockwall or when I'm fighting Knockwall. Because she is one of the only decent counters to her. Uh, so th those are my those are my openers. So here are my supports, my knights. So Arrowell. Uh, Arrowell, I have her on Bastion to synergize with um, Midnight Galilius. And I have roughly 100 some effectiveness, including her effectiveness buff, so I can stun the Sea Armin. That is about it. Uh, here's my Sea Armin. I have her extremely tanky, although I wish she could be tankier. Uh, of course, protection set is a must, so is Aureus. Um, I have her very slow. I actually have her on HP boots because she's tuned very specially to my Laya who is 264 speed. So my Laya is just a bit under double her speed, which means Laya can take two turns to cleanse my Sea Armin. It is very special tuning. So yeah the speed is important. But yeah I I'm just as tanky as possible so she can so she can survive. Yep um I don't play LRK at all. I think Last Rider Crow is a very volatile unit. I prefer units that have a lot of protection, so I just don't play him. He's just here for reference if you need it. But he's just super tanky with immunity, nothing special. 
Um, this Dina, if I if I really need a big cleanser, which usually I don't. Usually something like Laia and Luluka do the job, but if I really need a high ER cleanser, this team is a go-to. Like I'm 300, like 320 ER or something. 330 with imprint with the artifact and with their passive so she can usually she can usually resist stuff like um angel of light yeah nothing special Lilica, this unit is definitely the best soul weaver of the season she's super strong against like c lilius and other aggro units because she punishes them so hard like heal defense buff strip blind silence it's just too good it's just way too good i, I have immunity to fight lua Definitely the best Soul Weaver in the of like this season or last season. I'm like 70 some win rate with her over 500 games. Is super consistent. She's the best. Um, Ruel. I picked this against Hua Young. I, I built enough HP to, to survive, and I built enough ER to resist the Lilies usually. Um, it's still a little, a little experimental, but I'm pretty sure this unit is decent. Uh, so Solitaria, I, I guess this kind of falls under speedy units, but she's also so support. I picked this unit when when people would double up on like Mo Shu and like Ocean Breeze Lulika, so she has like super value from canceling their focus. But otherwise, I tend to I try not to pick this unit. I don't like RNG debuffs, but sometimes she's really good because the other person doesn't pick a cleanse. Um, Isteria. So I play Laia a lot. I think Etheria plus Laia is super funny. I have her faster than Laia so she can so she can reset Laia and okay I'm supposed to be on the Soulburn artifact from Flan, but I forgot to change it. Because I was doing raid, but yeah. Um I pick Laia, I pick this with Laia plus Dark Corvus. Typically against like Euphine and um Emma Landy. So, so one of my DPS, or like my Lion Dark Horus can S3 turn 1, and it's really good. But a very rare, a very rare pick. Um, Blue Elena, I think she's really good this season. I pick her against Monk players. Um, and I pick her against Cleavers, where I ban their Zeo. And then I force their Ran to S3. And then, you know stuff happens she's uh, the way i play her she's pretty good i think she's one of the better soul weavers this season uh laia definitely definitely the craziest unit of the season she's super strong there's almost no reason to not pick her um average super tanky decent speed i would say like 1500 defense 25k hp 250 speed is the minimum for her yeah just like tons of hp lots of speed lots of tank she only needs <laughs> she only needs like three or four different stats very very straightforward um and yeah i mentioned the special speed with her earlier the c armin so yeah um so here are my dps um the most important one of the season these aren't ordered in any particular order it's just like yeah, just having to be first. Um, so Yufin, um, I strayed away from the lifesteal build. I have never been on lifesteal this season. I think Destro is the best build currently because you just do so much damage on destruction set and every and Laya has made almost every game a DPS race. So if you do more damage, you win. Basically. And that's why I'm on Destro. And I really, really like the build. It's noticeably more damage. It's like 30% more damage than your typical lifesteal build. So yeah. Now Emma Landy is also very big damage this season because yeah, it's a DPS race. Um, I would like her to do more damage, but she doesn't have she doesn't not she does not have the best gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just tons of damage. When she gets her S3, everything dies. When she counterattacks, it does a lot of damage. Uh, Lone Crescent Bologna, nothing special. I would like her to be slower with, with more uh, tank stats. Uh, she is my go-to against Amolandi, of course. She's really strong. She's really, really strong against Amolandi. As long as she has mitigation. Otherwise, it's, it's sketchy, but yeah. 
Hey Ravi, sometimes A Ravi is good when Yufin and Landy are pre banned and they don't have MO Shu and you need to revive, but otherwise, A Ravi, very, very rare, not too useful. Stunny, I hate Stunny this season. I think her tempo is very bad. Uh, she struggles to kill things. The frenzy, the frenzy is not in her favor. Like the game slowed down, and yeah, she kind of just dies to a lot of things in the meta. She's, she, I, I just never pick her. Hua Young, I use Hua Young a lot. She kind of one shots like every soul weaver and a lot of bruisers for me. I use Spear of Purification to, to really boost her attack. For example, if I if I have C Lilius and I Hua Young kick a an MO Landy, the, the the attack difference will be there to just straight up kill them. That that's why the spear artifact is so powerful. Um, if you want to play Hua Young, I would recommend as close to 5k attack as possible with Torrent Set. It's a tall order, but if you kept your weird gear that rolled tons of flight attack on the neck and ring, it's not too hard. Yeah, she's really good. Elvira, I think Elvira is actually a pretty decent unit as long as you control yourself and only pick Elvira into players who are into Lionheart Sermia and Commander Pavel. Not Yuffie, not Landy. Like only Lionheart and Pavel because they're pretty much guaranteed to be countered by her. Um, Abigail, I pick her sometimes against some um, single target. Like big single target damage, like Hua Young, with varying effects, but usually, usually she does okay. She does have potential to watch out Gala as well because she can strip into damage. Dark Corvus, I pick him a lot into AU Fiend and Candy, but he's just really good. He's really good this season. Like he, yeah, the frenzy is in his favor. Like just don't pick him into injury units. Uh, Gala. I pick this Gala along with um, Bastion of Prelucia Arrowwell all the time. She is really good against Laia because against Laia you can't slow down and Gala is huge tempo if you if they let her do her thing. So very good unit. Wind Rider is the artifact of choice and Torrent. Um, I wasted a lot of crit chance but I can't do much about it. Shrey is 260 speed, really good against slow players, nothing special. And Tachi of course because it gives them the most damage. Um, Shu, I'm not a fan of Shu. My Shu is on the lower end of things. 260 speed, 240 to 260 is the typical speed range. Crit damage deck and then whatever stats you can get. Nothing, nothing special for me. I don't like her. Uh, Fumir, I pick Fumir a lot with Nakwa and Laia. I think they're the perfect combo to control someone to death. And I have like 80 win rate with her. Fumir is amazing. I wish I could play her more. But the slow players are kind of dying out, so it makes it hard to play her. Um, Lionheart Sermia, she's not as good. She, she's not as good as to, ad, good to me as before. But she struggles against a, a lot of mitigation, defense buff, and all that. And like she has, she's prone to also dying before she does anything. But she, sometimes she's a good pick. Like I have her geared still. She's kind of whatever. Bihu, I'll sometimes pick him into Gala who don't have Bastion of Perlusha, but it's very rare and if he misses his debuff, he dies. I prefer not to pick him at all. Basar, I pick him against ER Cheezers because, you know, un irresistible, unbuffable, and full strip. It's good if they have all ER but no cleanse. Ed, I play I play full damage Ed with Lethe Artifact to one shot cleavers. Typically my game plan is to ban Zeo and force the Ram to S3 and then it kills his team. This Ed is surprisingly high win rate. I'm like almost 75% with him. I think this is the best Ed build at the moment to to really make him, you know, actually do something. Karina, nothing special. Anti-cleave, immunity. Counter. Nothing special, just the standard. Biblis, I only pick this Biblis into Emma Ken and Landy. Um, I have some ER because you know she doesn't really need any stats. Like I have some ER for fun, some effectiveness. Her stats don't matter that much, but she does the job. Like uh, I pick this into 
I picked this into people who I know will be slow. I also prioritize Yuffie a lot in my draft, so she's not naturally countered. Um, for example, some people will play Laia in a very slow environment with like C Armin and stuff. That's when I know they're slow, so I'll contest like Laia and like Moon Bunny and stuff with this sometimes. But otherwise, you know, I don't pick her too often. Rimuru. Um, I use this to kill Gala, but only if I know that they don't have Bastion. Basically the same story, the same story with Bihu. I used to pick him a lot, but the Bastion Gala tech caught on a lot and Rimuru fell off a bit. Uh, Rylet, I pick this unit where I don't know what to do and I just pray, yeah. Uh, Landy, Landy's actually really good against people who don't draft um, AoE, which is at least once in a hundred games. I still think she's an okay unit, but missing Guiding Light, I'll be very sad. LQC, she's okay against some dark units. When you're not getting reset, when you're not getting controlled to death, she's sometimes okay. I think she's an inferior Aiden, but the problem is I pre ban Aiden. Oh yeah, I pre ban Aiden, and I pre ban DDR, so yeah. Uh, Billion, I just picked this against um, Laia or Steny or as a force ban against Ludwig. I think Injury is pretty good against Laia, but that's about it. Aiden, I don't pick her. She's pre banned for me. This is just here for reference. Full damage, or a lot of damage, anti dark artifact. Hey, well, super tanky, anti cleave. Nothing special, and oh, that's it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.